Hi everybody, today in math we worked on problem solving in the coordinate plane and we discovered today that the length of a line segment on the coordinate plane can be determined by finding the distance between its two endpoints. We can also use this to find perimeter and area of figures such as rectangles and right triangles by finding the lengths of the line segments that make up their sides and using the appropriate formula. So we're going to do a little practice here and I'm going to use this grid to help us. It shows, the first one says, the coordinates of one endpoint of a line segment are negative 7, or negative 2, negative 7. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that on this coordinate grid. Negative 2 starting at the point of origin, I go negative 2, 2 to the left, and negative 7, I'm going to go 7 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So my coordinate, negative 2, negative 7 will lie right there. That's just going to help me with a visual. And I know that mathematically many of you are already able to do this problem without graphing it. But this is for the visual learners like myself. The line segment is 12 units long. Give three possible coordinates of the segment's other endpoint. So if I know that I have three possible coordinates, I know that I can set up vertical lines and horizontal lines. So I'm going to go ahead and start thinking through that one of my lines can go up, one of my lines could go to the right, one of my lines could go to the left, and one of my lines could go below off the grid right there. So I'm going to focus on the three that I should be able to possibly plot or have a better chance of plotting. So let's start with our vertical line. If we begin at our point negative 2, negative 7, and I want my line segment to be 12 units long, I can go up 12 units. So starting at this point, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So here's a point, and the coordinate on this would be from the point of origin left on my x-axis to 2. So I'm at negative 2, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can see that they're 12 apart because the absolute value of 5 plus the absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 12. So my line segment is 12 units long. Now let's go ahead and you go to the right of negative 2, negative 7. And again, I want to go over 12 points. So I'm going to go ahead and start from that point and move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 would be right there, a little bit off the grid. So it's not going to take me that much to figure out this point. So I know that I need a ordered pair. And to get to that point, starting at the point of origin, I'm going to move right on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it looks like 10. To the right, a positive 10. And then to get down to that point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, a negative 7. The y-coordinate, notice, stayed the same. So to prove that it is a, tw a length of 12, I can see I had 2 to the left of the x-axis. So absolute value of negative 2 plus 10 units on the right of the x-axis. Absolute value of 10 is 2 plus 10, which gives me another length of 12. So again, we have one more direction we can go, and that is to the left. And if I start here again, and I move, and I want it to be, again, 12 units long, I'm going to move to the left, 12 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 which is a little harder to go since I just went off the grid a little bit, not very even. Um, <clears throat> so to make sure I'm there, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 from negative 2. So I'd actually be at negative 14, and it still was down at a negative 7. So here, the distance is between negative 14 and negative 2, which is 12. They're on the same side as 0, so we don't have to add that. So there, you can see I have 
three different values that show that a line segment coming from negative 2, negative 7, that are all 12 units long. So the next part of this is we're going to now graph a, a rectangle with an area of 12 square units so that the vertices, vertices lie in at least two of the four quadrants on the coordinate plane. We'll have to state the lengths of the sides and use absolute value to show how we determine the lengths of the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase what I've got done here from number one so I can reuse this. And I know if I'm going to have an area of 12, area equals base times height or length times width. I know that to get 12, I have a couple options. I have 1 times 12, I could do 2 times 6, or I could do 3 times 4. So let's go ahead and just do 2 times 6. So, and I'm going to make mine reach out into all four quadrants. So I'm going to make it too wide. So by just starting there, I'm in quadrant one and quadrant two. So if I'm going to go too wide, it has to be six deep. So I'm, or six as a height. I'm going to get rid of those so we can see which one we're working on. So I'm going to just go down one, two, three, four, five, six, too wide again, go here. And then the proof that I do have an area of 12 is I can go through and go, here's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So yes, it covers an area of 12. Now it says for me to go ahead and state the lengths of each of the sides. This is a side of two, here's a side of two. This is a side of six, here's a side of six. There are three that go into the positive, there are three that go into the negative. Even on my two, I have one that's in the positive, and I have one that's in the negative. But when you look at absolute value, you can still get the full lengths of each of the sides, regardless of which quadrant they're in. So I can even find the perimeter. It doesn't ask me to, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around the figure. And I've got 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2. So I have a perimeter of here I have 12. And this part I have 4. So my perimeter is equal to 16 units. So we have an area of 12 square units and a perimeter of 16 units. So that's what we worked on today to wrap up this module. I think that you guys have done a really good job. So good luck with your practice and as always make a difference today.